Welcome everyone, in this video I will show you how to use the comparator interface in Java to compare your custom object. In a previous video I showed you how to use the comparable interface. These two are not the same thing, so this time I wanted to show you how to use the comparator interface. So let's get started. Let's first start with the custom object because that is the thing that you want to sort. So you have your own project and you have some objects that you want to sort or compare. In this case, I will be using the student uh, student class, which will have a first name, last name, test score, high school math grade, and has high school Eng English grade. So nothing complicated here. We have this constructor, and we have these getters and setters. I also made a two string method, so we have a beautiful print to the console. So nothing complex here. You can have any object you'd like and follow along. And now I want to sort these objects and I will use the comparator interface for that. Since comparator is an interface, we'll have to implement it. So in here, I have a student comparator class which implements this interface. And basically the only method you need to override is this one. It's the compare method which expects to return an integer. If they are equal, it should be zero. And if one is higher, it should be one. In if the other is higher, it should be minus one. So in this case, I created a method which basically says, okay, let's first compare by the test score and save that as an integer. So we have this float compare method, which takes two floats and decides which one is larger. And if the test if the first compare is different than zero, which means that they are not equal, one of them is either higher or lower, we should just return the first compare. And in the other case, we should compare by the high school math grade. So this is the case where two students can have the same test score, but then we want to give the edge to the person which has a higher high school math grade. And then we just return the second compare no matter what. So basically this method will first compare by the test score and then by high school math grade. And now you might be wondering, but how do we use it? Okay, so let's go to the main class and in here I created four students and I added them to the list as might you have in your project. So you have a list of your custom objects and now you want to sort them. So I will be using the student sort method. It's basically an already implemented sort method for lists, but you can also create your own sort, sort methods like bubble sort or any other sort and still use the compare method from, from here. Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to create an instance of your student comparator or any object you are using. So we can also do that here so maybe it will be easier for you to understand equals oops okay and here and we pass it to this sort method as you can see if i hover over it this method expects a comparator so i put it here and when we run the program we have before sorting we have them in this order, which we added them to the list. And after sorting, we have them sorted by grade. So as you can see, 3.2, 3.5, 3.7, and 3.7. But Maria Robertson, as you can see here, has a high school math grade of four, and David has three. If I put it to five and run again, you can see that David is higher in the list. And now you might be wondering, well, what do what do I do if I want to sort by, let's say, the first name? Do I have to rewrite this method over here? Well, the answer is no. You can just create a new class, which is a student name comparator. The name doesn't really matter, which also implements the comparator. And as you can see here, in here, we only compare the names. So student get first name compared to T1 get first name. So these are these students. And then in here, I can comment this. And now I can use a different sort. So this is 
students sort this is collections sort it's another sort method from java and we pass the list students and we create a new student name comparator so these two are not the same this one compares by the grade and this one compares by the name so we can actually delete this one and this since i already show what it does and if i run the program you can now see that they are sorted by their first names so david goes first then john then julie then maria if i change john to n and run again you can see that she is first because her name is the first letter of the alphabet and that's it you just learned how to use the comparator interface in java to sort your custom objects on multiple ways in only five minutes if you need any help let me know in the comments and see you in the next video bye